guys so another weekend means another day of doing things alone and today i'm going for a hike i'm very nervous about it so my local esquire is actually burnt down a few weeks ago so i had to stop at one in carrick to get a hot chocolate and some breakfast got some diesel and these doing things alone videos are starting to get expensive but anyway i headed for sligo got to like the base of the devil's chimney i purposely picked this hike because it's short judging by how many cars are around it's definitely busy again i was quite like anxious about this morning i'm a very all or nothing person so when i was like i have to go do this hike i was like well, what, what if i can't do it but like i have to it's so hard to explain the mindset but it's like if i'm going to do something i have to do it whereas now i'm trying to like introduce this supportive voice as my therapist calls it so instead of being like i have to do it i'm gonna be like right i'm a bit nervous about it that's fine if i get 25 minutes into this hike and i'm really anxious i'm just gonna turn back and go back to the car in introducing this mindset i generally can do the things once i take away the pressure so that's the plan I'm gonna get going now. Because... Headed off on my first solo hike. I think because it was really busy, it made me feel way more at ease, and I was actually so excited because you had views of the waterfalls straight when the trail started. So I'm only like two minutes into this hike. You kid. <laughs> to tell me absolutely everything about the hike about how there's leaves there's water there's sheep it's the cutest thing ever spend 90 percent of my time in my bedroom week to week the only interactions i have with people are like at the checkout in a shop like i don't see people very often so like even like getting out and like having a conversation with this family and this little boy is so nice my second rest stop jesus there's like old people doing this and I'm absolutely fucked. This was my favourite viewpoint of the hike. It was like the first reveal of the waterfall. So I had to sit and admire the views. Okay, I'm on my way back to the car now and I'm absolutely buzzing. Like, I love hiking, but it's also a big trigger for my anxiety. So like, even when I'm with someone, it's really difficult. So the fact that I've just done a hike by myself. I know I said this last week, but I'm just so proud of myself. My anxiety was really bad on the way back. When I first got to the top, I was buzzing. I couldn't believe I'd done it by myself. I was so happy. And then all of a sudden it was like panic stations, had to like sit on the ground because I thought I was gonna faint, couldn't breathe properly. As I was coming back down to the car, that all started building up again. So it was really bad on the way back to the car, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm here, I got back here. I'm really happy that I'm finally learning. I can feel like that and it's not the end of the world.